Hey loves and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video I am going at bare face because I am focusing on skincare today. If you haven't already yet subscribed, I would love to have you. Just make sure to hit the subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up if you want to see more videos on clean beauty and skincare and makeup. So today I have a full summer skincare routine to share with you. I'm also going to share some of my summer skincare tips. I have for the last about maybe two or three weeks have been dealing with a bit of a rash, dermatitis around my mouth. So it's been really important that I'm using certain products as well to make sure I'm protecting my skin, but also to minimize the inflammation, the redness, etc. that comes with this. Now my focus is to making sure I'm using products that are going to help heal it versus worsening it. So today's video is in collaboration with Nourish Clean Beauty. Um, they were kind enough to help me curate a beautiful skincare um, and I thought with that it'd be fun to give you some of my skincare tips because I have a lot of tips for summer specifically that I feel you can adopt into your skincare routine and also find some luxurious clean beauty products if you are in the market for something new. I've definitely been able to discover some new brands which I have been dying to try for a long time so having the opportunity to try them out and then share my thoughts with you is awesome. On Nourish Clean Beauty, the link is down in the bio or description, um, so make sure to check that out if you're interested in purchasing any of the products that I talked about today or if you want to explore some of the other products they have or a specific brand that they carry on their website. Definitely make sure to check down below. So I wanted to kind of condense my skincare routine. I have six products here that may sound like a lot. There are two different products. So really I would say the base of it is four core products that I use morning and night. And then there's one product I use exclusively in the morning and one product I use exclusively at night. So we'll go through those products right now. So the very first step to cleansers, I feel like cleansers are very individualized of what your preference is. I've always been an oil cleanser fan. The cleanser I have today to share with you is an oil cleanser. It is by the brand Monastery, which is a brand I've been wanting to try for a very long time. They do sit in the higher luxurious price point, um, but that really kind of stands true with the ingredients they use as well as their packaging. This is the Rose Cleansing Oil by Monastery. Really love this. It's a blend of pretty much just oils. All of the ingredients and some of the pinpoints of the products will be listed somewhere on the screen as I'm talking about them. But this is just like a regular cleansing oil. It's very nourishing. I do love the fact that it has rose in it because it is quite anti-inflammatory. Um, and that is something that I've been trying to combat during the summer months. I tend to get a little bit more inflammation. Um, so to have something like a cleanser, it's not heavy sitting on my skin, but it adds that moisture before I go in with the following products is one of my favorites. I have definitely more dry, dehydrated skin. Normal to dry, it just depends on how my skin is behaving. But I tend to stick with just an oil cleanser and I just make sure I thoroughly wash it off. And then I still have a little bit of moisture left. So the next step in my skincare routine and also one of my tips is to incorporate a facial mist. I have always been into essences or facial mist, especially after cleansing and before I go in with my serums because I find that A, they help to give your skin that extra boost of moisture. It's very hydrating, refreshing, especially in the summertime. I love having a little bit of a mist that just feels cooling and relaxing, but it's also going to help kind of dampen your skin again so you have better absorption with your following products. This is the Regeneration Mist by Less, and this is the 100% natural botanical ingredients. It is the finest mist I have ever sprayed. I absolutely adore it. Like, I don't know if you can see, but the mist is so small. Um, it doesn't like spew out little drops, so it feels like an even spray. It has a very pleasant light fragrance. Um, it kind of smells like... It smells fresh and summery, but it almost has a bit of like a fermented smell. The thing I like about facial mist versus just plain water to dampen your skin prior to your next steps in your skincare routine is that it gives you antioxidants and other benefiting ingredients versus just water. Of course you can do just water as your step, but I always like something like a mist that has that extra little benefit and is also 
soothing and calming for my skin. This one is suitable for all skin types. It helps to hydrate. It also has ingredients here to help boost your natural collagen production. I'll then follow up if we are talking about my morning skincare routine with my vitamin C. Vitamin C is something that I think everyone should get on board with, especially during the summer. It's such a critical ingredient because it's packed full of antioxidants. It's going to help give you that extra sun protection boost. Antioxidants, especially vitamin C, is really great at combating the oxidative effects of the sun's rays. So we all know that the sun can have harmful rays. Yes, it's good to get your vitamin D. It's fine to be, you know, enjoying your time outside, but you want to give your skin that extra boost. Um, and it also kind of gives you, like I said, that extra boost that your sunscreen, um, your sunscreen's job is doing. This one by Shaf has hyaluronic acid, vitamin C, niacinamide, and peptides. It's like this quadruplet of amazing ingredients that are going to help even your skin tone, especially if you tend to freckle or sunspot very easily. I love vitamin C because it's a protective, but it's also a um, preventative and treatment product. So you're going to notice that it's going to help prevent the sunspots, the freckling, the discoloration, but it's also going to help treat any discoloration and unevenness in your skin tone that you already have. So I have a little bit of pigmentation, post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation from previous breakouts, and this really does help to minimize the pigment that's left from that um, and any unevenness in my skin from sun exposure in the summertime especially. Niacinamide is also known to help even out skin tone which is why I love it and hyaluronic acid in the summertime in the fall it doesn't matter the time of the year but hyaluronic is a powerhouse ingredient that helps to plump up your skin so I feel like after my skincare routine my skincare my skin just looks plump and juicy and glowy despite having to deal with some dermatitis around my skin. So next one is to swap out your heavy moisturizer for something a little bit more lightweight. This is one of those products I never thought that I needed. It is a um, cream serum. It's by Monastery. This is called their Floral Cream sorry, the Floral Botanical Cream Serum. This is like a hybrid between a moisturizer and a serum. It's going to give you the benefits of a serum. Typically creams kind of act as more of your occlusive barrier um, where serums give you those active ingredients. It kind of is that hybrid between the moisturizer and the serum. So it's really nice and lightweight for the summer, but it still hydrates your skin like you'd want a moisturizer to do. I prefer not to have heavy moisturizers during the day at least, at nighttime, I don't care as much. Um, but especially with my dermatitis around my mouth, I've been steering clear of heavier moisturizers because I don't want to not allow it to breathe and heal. So this is going to give you everything, the hydration, the anti-aging benefits, the collagen production, while also preventing further breakdown of collagen. Also, as like your moisturizer would do, it helps to kind of give your skin that natural barrier to prevent transdermal water loss. So it acts as a kind of skin barrier function, which is kind of what you expect and want from your moisturizer without being super heavy in the summertime so this is amazing and the thing I also really like about it is that it does have so many benefiting ingredients it has hyaluronic acid radish root ferment it has um, jasmine rose absolute and I think the thing is is that even though it has all these botanicals in it it isn't irritating at all it's not sensitizing um, it is suitable for all skin types and then one of the last tips for my morning skincare routine and the final step of any skincare routine in the morning should be your sunscreen. SPF is incredibly important all year long, but we're gonna talk a little bit about sunscreen. So this gives you UVA and UVB protection. If you guys do not know, UVA and UVB kind of function a little bit differently. UVA is long wave ultraviolet A waves and UVB is short wave ultraviolet B waves. The majority of the rays that penetrate down to earth are UVA and then the remaining percent is UVB. UVA, you can think A for aging and B for burning. The A is going to break down collagen, it's going to contribute to the aging process, sunspots, um, and also potentially form cancers. UVB is more of the burning function um, and that's actually what SPF, the number, is related to UVB. It has nothing to do with UVA but you wanna make sure you get a broad spectrum that will cover you for UVA and UVB. This mineral sunscreen covers you for both. It has both zinc oxide 10% and titanium dioxide 6%. Great combination. Um, 
Mineral sunscreens are really great. I think there's more and more information coming out about mineral versus chemical sunscreens. Mineral sunscreens act as a physical barrier, which is why they're also known as physical sunscreens, um, and help to reflect and bounce off the UV rays. Whereas a chemical sunscreen uses chemicals to kind of do this chemical reaction to allow the rays from penetrating into the skin. There is more information coming out about the use of chemical sunscreens. Um, I stopped using chemical sunscreens, I don't know, maybe five, six years ago and have solely used mineral. I think the problem with minerals is that it can be really difficult to find a mineral sunscreen that works effectively and also doesn't give you that white cast. The thing about this one is that it has a um, blend of Mika's in it to give it a bit of a tint. It kind of looks like foundation, um, like a very light foundation color, but once you actually blend it in, it blends in transparent, it doesn't give you that cast, um, and it doesn't give you that like grayish pink hue. Um, and then one thing I absolutely love about this sunscreen that I've found very difficult when it comes to other mineral sunscreens that I've used is that I can apply it almost immediately after my skincare routine and not get pilling. I've always dealt with pilling. It's so frustrating. I have to wait like 10 minutes for my skincare products to sink in before I apply this or else I'll start getting balling and pilling on my face. I can apply this 30 seconds after I'm done my skincare routine and not deal with that which I think is great and this also has skin benefiting ingredients and in it. it's not just your um, sun protectant it actually has some antioxidants as well but if you're using your vitamin C as well in your morning time this is your powerhouse duo for your summer skincare routine My final summer skincare tip is to use a gentle exfoliating acid at nighttime only. So this is a product, I'll basically swap out your sunscreen from the morning with your um, nighttime exfoliant. Now, the order of which I apply these, I will leave down in the description box. So if you are interested, you can kind of see how it is that I apply these in certain order to get the most effectiveness out of the products after my cleanser at night. And this is kind of like more of a gel serum like consistency. It's not like a very um, thin watery base, which is what I'm sometimes used to with my exfoliating um, products. This is 10% glycolic acid, which is a great percentage. Usually glycolic acid runs between 5 and 10%, so it is kind of on the higher um, spectrum. And then if you're getting more like a medical grade cosmetic peels, you're going to see an even higher percentage. Um, but this is still quite gentle. I love the consistency of this because again, it doesn't pill, it doesn't ball. I like glycolic acid because it runs under the alpha hydroxy acids. I find alpha hydroxy acids to be a little bit more gentle. The glycolic acid is amazing for evening out skin tone, brightening your skin tone, giving you kind of plump, juicy skin. And I think it's really great to incorporate a chemical acid into your skincare routine to help slaw off any excess built up of skin cells. My skin is super glowy, fresh, um, and I absolutely love that about this product. This is also called the XX Rose Glycolic Gel. So it has a combination of rose in it to bring down inflammation and redness, which is a great combination. It kind of helps to also soothe irritated skin while giving you that exfoliation that you may want. That is it for my summer essentials skincare. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, found some tips. Make sure to head to the link below if you want any of the products and make sure you take advantage of the 15% off on Nourish Beauty's website on Nourish Clean Beauty's website because it is a great time to buy if you're interested in some new skincare products. The 15% really does help overall. Um, thank you so much again for watching. Make sure to hit the subscribe and the like button. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section down below. I'd love to hear from you guys. And if you have any specific summer skincare tips that you want to share, then please leave them in the comment section down below. I'd love for you to hear. I'd love, I'd love to learn more. And I think it's great for any of the readers and watchers to go through the comments and see any additional tips that you may have. Hope you have an amazing day and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.